the, the one word I would leave with if you're in here today is volume. The, the sheer volume of content that is needed by the businesses in this room is staggering. It's staggering. If you get your above the line creative agency to interpret your TV and make a ton more content for the internet, if you have a digital shop that does a lot of content, if you do publishing deals where Condé or Hearst or Refinery or PureWow are giving you content, if you build internal capabilities for content, if you have all four of those things humming, you're still 90% short on how much content you need in a 2019 world if you understand how the Googles and Facebooks and Snapchats actually work. If you, if you are a deep practitioner of the media capabilities of 2019 across the biggest platforms, which, oh, by the way, in this region have so much attention it's uncomfortable, if you really understand that, you'll realize, my God, I need 20,000, 8,000 unique pieces of content for different psychographic, demographic individuals. And as you all know, even Vayner, which I'm trying to move in the direction of being the disproportionate leader in quality and quantity, there's no engine in the world right now that's even remotely close to the needs that we actually have. So that to me is the big one. That to me is in the last six months the thing that is absolutely synthesized, which is my God, if you really did it perfect, you know, and, and you really spent it every penny the way I did for my father's business perfect, you need 20,000 pieces of meaningful content for a year, that's about 19,900 more than most people have. And so that, I think, will be the debate over the next half decade. How do you have quality content at scale to take advantage of the grossly underpriced media capabilities of the YouTubes, the Snapchats, the Facebooks, and the Instagrams over the next half decade? Then consumer behavior will change, either to our hosts' hope the prices become appropriate like they did on Google search or people's attention will move on like it was on MySpace. That I don't know, I don't guess. I only trade on the day we live in. What I know is if you look at the sheer data of what's happening in this region specifically, and this is global outside of mainland China and Russia, if you look at the sheer actual consumption, not a GRP or an impression which is a potential reach, but actual reach if you just look at YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, this is the golden era to market in this region and most people are not taking advantage of it because either A, they've allocated dollars to traditional places based on reports of yesterday, or B, even if they are, it's not successful because they don't have enough content to fill the pipes of the media distribution. That to me is what's going on.